Hi everybody, this is Lawrence from uh, Tofiris and today I'm editing a photo of myself and this was just came from an inspiration of from Leonardo DiCaprio because I really love his acting and he always he's really known for a tag humor ad that he does uh, the one illustrated on the left now unfortunately I can't afford the tag humor so this is <laughs> no, not even close to one just for anyone who's asking so anyway, I got this new watch and I wanted to do a photo shoot just for fun. So here it is. And since I did both setups here, the left and the right portrait of Leonardo, I didn't want to have to change the lighting setup because it was already perfect just the way it was. So instead of having to move the light stands around, which was a real pain because I had to set up the seamless two light stands, diffusers, two diffusers actually, uh, it was too much work. So I kept everything the same. So I'm looking the wrong direction. So I'm going to try to mimic the one on the left here. So the very first step is to flip my image horizontally. So I'll go to image, image rotation, flip canvas horizontally. Now I'm looking the right direction. Uh, the next thing is perhaps, first we're going to have to make it sepia looking or sepia, however you want to pronounce it. What I would do is first maybe get an image swap of the brown that he's using. I'm just going to go for the darkest one right there. So I hit the corner part. Or you can try to get off the jacket or something like that. Create a new layer. Fill the layer. And then just for now, let's put it about 50% for opacity and fill. It's getting closer to how it's looking there. So let's try to increase the brown first. So we can try different layer options, not multiply, not dodge. Now what I came to like was color. This is pretty close. Now my skin tone is still a little bit too fleshy you know, compared to his. So what I could do is tone down the saturation for the background layer. So I selected background. And for Apple, it's Command U. So decrease the saturation to your liking. So that's that's pretty good there. So it still maintains my skin tones, but it removes the color, the pinkness, so that I look a little bit more um, sepia. <laughs> so the next step is to let's see. Looking at Leonardo's photos, he's really sharp. So let's try to add some sharpness here. We'll go to Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. Let's zoom into the eyeballs. And really increase it. Or actually we can zoom into the watch. OK, so this way, it has this ruggedness to it. Ooh, too close. I don't want to have you guys see my pores. Anyway, so I'm going to go un... Um, I'm sorry, undo, just to show you the difference. This is without unsharp mask. This is with it. Without with it. Now, if you want to, we can repeat it. So I'm going to go Command J, just to see how it'll look like. Oops, not Command J, I'm sorry. Uh, Command F. So this is even sharper. So this is actually a little bit better than before, so maybe two unsharp masks. Then we have to crop it correctly. Now I have a lot of negative space above my hair. Now you're going to have to leave room on the bottom for the right, so the only thing we have to do is maybe crop a little bit closer to the left, to the right side behind my head and crop off some of my hair. Now unfortunately my hair is not as cool and wavy as Leonardo's, so by cropping it, it's just going to look like a mess. But I'll do it anyway, just for just for demonstration purposes. Cut in, maybe even closer. Let me move it over in juxtaposition. Shoot, that's not it. Now remember, everything right now is 
still in separate layers so I just create a background copy just in case if I want to change it layer and then merge these two layers that way I can just move the brown one over my face is nowhere as chiseled as his so don't expect this to look like his in any way this is just again for fun and then there we go it's not perfect but it's close enough for a few minutes work you know lighting setup is not too hard but just to get the idea it's um, it's not too bad it's not too hard and then there we go add tag hewer there but it's not really tag hewer again and I won't say the brand too because I don't want you guys to all get the same watch oh another thing you might want to do is perhaps dodge some of this so just to add some highlight on the watch maybe on this side of the face that's a little bit too much some on the back and then we'll burn areas that we don't that we want to be hidden a little bit more maybe we'll burn the corners maybe around the neck area darken the shirt and there we go